Michigan's largest St. Patrick's Day Street Festival returns to downtown Grand Rapids tomorrow for a date filled with green beer and festivities. Joining us now to talk more about Irish on Ionia is Todd Earns. Todd, thank you for being here this morning. Tell us a little bit about Irish on Ionia and what people can expect when they head to downtown this weekend. Sure, we're uh, headed into our 11th year. Of course, we unfortunately we had to take three years off because sure. of COVID. We had kind of that, that fluke snowstorm yes, last year. And mm. as we were just talking about, people still came out in droves. It's, wow, was that, was that Grand Rapids uh, to its core, you know? But right. uh, uh, we close off on Ionia Street uh, for a couple of blocks there, starting up at Fulton, where GRBC is. And uh, we take it down to, uh, yeah, like I said, two blocks down. Uh, gates are at 10 a.m. and uh, we go until 9 p.m. Awesome. You're seeing in our, our footage there, folks still showing up even with that snow falling, at least in some parts of our video. But no worries about that for this weekend. Really cool to hear that there's a, a focus on sustainability. Uh, what is happening to keep things zero waste for the events? Sure, sure. So uh, Barfly, they've always been hyper conscious about sustainability, and uh, that's a great thing. We, we work with a company called Zero Waste uh, Productions based out of Ohio. They come up and it's a proprietary team where the, the end goal, the objective is to make sure that 100% of everything is diverted away from landfills. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. If only more events would mm -hmm. focus on that sort of stuff, it right. would be a, a better world. We yeah. know in addition to covering three city blocks, Hopcat is open for people this weekend. What do they have planned over there exactly? Uh, the event, first and foremost, incubates out of Hopcat this year. Okay. Um, so previously, uh, a, a prior Barfly property was uh, McFadden's, which became Waldron, and that's no longer part of their portfolio. So now that has shifted over to Hopcat. Just want to be clear on something that the only way to get to Hopcat this weekend is if you are an Irish and Ionia attendee. Right. Okay, oh, so you can't just go there for brunch. N not on Saturday, right? Anyway. Yeah. So, right. yeah. So the event incubates out of uh, out of Hopcat. Of course, that's one of Barfly's signature properties that are you know popping up all over the region, and uh, yeah, they're pretty excited you know to have that going on there. All right, great stuff. Exciting weekend ahead. Irish on Ionia is tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. Tickets are still available. You can purchase those on irishonionia.com right now. Todd, thanks so much for waking up early with us. Absolutely.